Good morning. Welcome to Bethel Baptist Church to our devotional this morning. Uh, praise the Lord for another day. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I have a title message this morning. It's called Unite My Heart. And the, the theme for that is taken from Psalm chapter 86 and verse 11. We'll look at that after. Oh, to have the heart united with God's heart, to have a heart that would be united with the heart of God. If you could take your Bibles and turn to Acts chapter 13. Acts chapter 13, we're going to be looking at verse uh, 16 to verse 23, and then talking about verse 22. Acts chapter 13, uh, verse 16. Then Paul stood up and beckoning with his hand said, Men of Israel, and ye that fear God, give audience. The God of this people of Israel, choose our fathers and exalted the people when they dwelt as strangers in the land of Egypt. And with a high arm brought he them out of it. And about the time of 40 years suffered he their manners in the wilderness. He was not happy with the, their unbelief, and they had to spend 40 years wandering in the wilderness. Verse 19. And when he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he divided their land to them by lot. God destroyed. Uh, man likes to think that their armies do it, but it says, and when he had destroyed seven nations. Verse 20. And after that, he gave unto them judges about the space of 450 years until Samuel the prophet. That's a long time. Those judges, 450 years. And afterward, they desired a king and God gave them Saul. You know, the Bible says in his anger, he gave them Saul and his wrath. He took him away. The son of Kis, a man, of the tribe of Benjamin, by the space of 40 years. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Uh, he'll be a prince one day in the millennial period and forever a prince. Of this man's seed hath God according to to his promise, raised up Israel, a savior, Jesus. Let's board, have a word of prayer. Father, we're so thankful for this day that you've given us. Another day that we can serve you. Help us, Lord. To be in your perfect will. We're thank, thankful that you are our heavenly father. And that, Lord, we can come to you with our needs and petitions. We do pray for our nation today that you would protect us watch over us, meet our needs. Lord, that we might turn to you, turn back to you. Lord, that we would recognize who you are. Ruler, Lord. That you are the governor of the nations. And Father, we'll give you the praise and the honor and the glory for all that you do. And Lord, we're so thankful that you are the father of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we come to you this morning in his name. I pray for your filling in Jesus' name. Amen. God gave testimony of David here in verse 22. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony. God gave testimony and said, I have found David the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart. Wow, that God would give testimony of David. Proverbs chapter 27 and verse 2 says, Let another man praise thee, and not thine own mouth, a stranger and not thine own lips. And here we see God uh, gave testimony for David, how he was a man after his own heart. David said in 
Psalm chapter 42 and verse 1 as the heart panteth, or the word panteth here means cries, longs for, as the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. O oh, to have that burning heart, when as the two that spake to Jesus after he rose from the dead, resurrected on the road to Emmaus, when he talked with them and opened up the scriptures to them, when he had departed, they said, did not our heart burn within us? O oh, to have that burning heart in us. Oh, to have a broken heart that the Lord said in Psalm chapter 34 and verse 18, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save as such as be of a contrite spirit. And if you've had that happen where your heart has been broken and crushed, you have that contrite heart and God comes along and comforts you. Oh, to have that heart. Oh, to have a rejoicing heart. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 16. Thy words were found, and I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by thy name, O Lord, God of hosts. Psalm 103, 105 and verse 3. Glory in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Oh, to have a fixed heart. A uh, fixed. This word means stable, established, firm, sure, faithful. Psalm 108 verse 1 says, Oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise even with my glory. Do you have a song in your heart this morning? Your God to glorify Oh, to have an enlarged heart. Psalm 119, verse 32. I will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart. First Kings chapter 4, verse 29. And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much and enlargement of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. He had that enlarged heart so that he could judge the people properly. Psalm 86, verse 11. Teach me thy way, O Lord. I will walk in thy truth. Here's really the, the gist of the message this morning of the devotional. Unite my heart. Unite my heart to fear thy name. God wants his heart united. Uh, David wants his heart united with God's heart. Unite, this means... Uh, Yahkad in the Hebrew to be one or become one to join the word unite is only used this once in the scripture and has to do with having a united heart with God let me have that same heart O God within my being to fear thy name for if we are so close to God we will fear to do wrong in his presence. We will fear to be away from God. When Jesus gives the pattern for the Lord's Prayer, he said, uh, pray, lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from evil. And in John 17, Christ's high priestly prayer, he said in verse 15, Pray not that the, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but thou, that thou shouldest keep them from the evil, so that we would be with Christ at all times. Luke 1, 50, And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. Do you fear the Lord today? Do you have a reverential fear for him? Do you fear the Lord for what's coming? Do you fear the Lord for the tribulation period that's going to come across upon this earth? Do you fear the Lord for those that are lost? Do you have a compassion for those that need Jesus? 
Revelation chapter 15, verse 4. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. Unite my heart to fear thy name. A united heart with the Lord is what's needed. What I need, that united heart with the Lord. Let's bow for a word of prayer. Father, unite my heart to be with you, Lord, with your heart. May I have the heart of Christ today. Lord, to tell somebody about you today, that they might have eternal life. Lord, that they'd realize who you are, the God of eternity, the almighty God. And Lord, that they would turn to your son, Jesus, to receive him as Savior. He paid the price on that cross. He shed his blood that they might have eternal life, that all men might be saved. He's not willing that one should perish, Lord. He has no pleasure. God has no pleasure in those that die in their wickedness and go to a crisis eternity in a place called hell, a burning flame, utter darkness. The worm dieth not, the fire is not quenched, where the wrath of God burns for eternity. In the lake of fire. Oh God, I pray, Lord, that you would speak to a heart this morning, watching by way of YouTube, by way of Facebook, that they would realize their need to turn to you and trust you and call upon you for that free gift of eternal life. And Lord, if they would realize they're a sinner, their sin will send them to hell, and that you paid the price, and all they have to do is call for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, that they do that and call right now and receive you. Would they give us a call and let us know that they've done that here at Bethel Baptist Church, 519. 426-8421. And Lord, if they're confused about salvation, we'd be glad to take the scripture and show them how they can be saved. Anybody that's listening this morning, we'd be glad to take the word of God and show you how you can know for sure where you're going to go when you die. Time goes fast. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Have a great day. 